Okay, Jason, welcome to Talk United Football Club. Can you tell us a little bit about how the transfer came about? Thank you. And um, it came about because I know Gary. I've known Gary for years. He was my assistant manager when I was at, at my time at Plymouth. And we've always kept in contact since then. And we've got a very good, really good relationship. Tell us about your, your career so far. What's it been like? Yeah, I started off um, youth level at Arsenal, moved on to Liverpool, been at Crystal Palace. So I've had a few clubs. Um, at first team level, I played for the likes of MK Dons, um, Wickham, Crawley in League Two. And last year, I was at Woking and um, it was an up and down season for us. Obviously, ended in relegation, but hopefully you can turn things around this year. And what's the manager told you about what you're going to be up to this season and how things are going to be? Well, obviously, there's no guarantees of nothing, but obviously the main objective is to be up in and around the playoffs, if not automatic promotion for this season. And I know Gary quite well. I know the style of play that he wants to play and the type of play that I should expect coming into a Torquay team and a Gary, um, Gary Owens team. Obviously, we're hoping for promotion. Um, it's got to be earned. Um, how does that translate into the kind of football that we need to play? Yeah, it's not going to, like, obviously, um, the type of player I am, I want to get the ball down and play, but I know it's not going to be that every week because of the physicality of the league, but we're going to have to, like you said, earn our wins and earn every point that we get. What about the mentality? What kind of mindset do you need to put yourself in to, to do that? We've got to just go into every game like it's our last. We can't think that we're going to just, because we're talky, we're going to stroll over teams just because they're smaller clubs for us. Not, we can't go into games like that or we'll get rolled over. So we literally got to take every game serious and take it like it's our last. That obviously starts with pre-season training. Uh, probably something that most players don't look forward to, but um, it needs to be done, doesn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not a big fan of pre-season, but like, it's got to be done. So it's, it puts you in good stead for the season and you push on from there. When do you get the benefits of pre-season? Is it, is it kind of in the middle of the season, at the end of the season? Not really, it just sets you up to carry on. Obviously, you keep building throughout the season. You're never really resting or resting on your laurels. Like Pre-season just sets you up for a good start of the season and then you've got to carry on working hard day in, day out when you're on the training ground. And what do you bring to the game? What are you going to bring to the team this season? Well, I'm an attacking player. I play wide either side or behind the striker. So I look to bring creativity, goals, assists. And just, yeah. And the Southwest isn't strange to you? You played at Plymouth Argyle? Yeah, I spent a good three years in total there. I was on loan originally from um, Crystal Palace and then I signed on a permanent and I had a um, good few seasons. My last season there, we got into the playoffs, lost in the playoff semi final, but it was a good time. Well, pre season's just around the corner. You're going to be in action soon. Uh, we look forward to seeing you play. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.